first of all, I got a project that has four sections at, it, at, at its end. You can see over here. All right, that was just some news because in this video, we are going to learn how to add binary numbers via Scratch programming. For today's agenda, we are going to learn what is binary, our project overview, our demonstration of the adder and the code. What is binary? First, consider the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in decimal. You can expand it up to get 1 times 10 to the 4 plus 2 times 10 to the 3 plus 3 times 10 squared plus 4 times 10 plus 5. And 10 to the power of 0 is 1. The decimal system uses 10 digits, including 0, whereas the binary system just uses 2 digits, 0 and 1. You can expand binary numbers as well. For example, 10111 can be expanded as 1 times 2 to the 4 plus 0 times 2 cubed plus 1 times 2 squared plus 1 times 2 plus 1, which is equal to 23 if you bother to calculate it. Now convert 10101, 10101, and 11111 to decimal. To add binary numbers, you just need to know that 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 10, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 11 in binary, of course. The addition process is similar to the addition process in base 10. I wrote down the addition on a piece of paper and note that converting to decimal is not necessary. 10011 plus 1100. You just do 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 1 plus 0 is 1. Now let's consider this harder case. 11111 plus 1111, which gives us 1 plus 1 is 10. So we put a 0 and carry over a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. So we put a 1 and carry a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11, put a 1, carry a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11 again, so put a 1, carry a 1. Now 1 plus 0 is 1, one and 1 plus 1 is 10, so we just put a 0 and 1. And for an exercise, find 101011 plus 1110. Right, so now let's go on to our project. We want to add two binary numbers together using a computer. You know that this green block doesn't really do so because I purposely aligned the zeros and ones. I didn't align the ones at all. We have two binary in inputs and one binary output. First, I'll give you a demonstration. Let's go back to our 11111 plus 1111 case and we get Yes, 101110. You can also 11011 plus 1110. Okay, the answer is 101001. Do you get it correct? All right, we want to know the code on finding this binary at all. First, we'll see how to find three the sum of three binary numbers three binary single digit numbers actually set output to join number one plus number two plus number three modulo two and output actually and we'll set carry over to this great a big expression num one times num two plus num one times num three plus num two times num three is greater than zero you can also put plus zero over here the main thing is that we want to convert it into a number on the right here. Now let's add two real binary numbers, like the case just now. First, we set output to a blank and set carry over to zero. We haven't carried over from the 0 0.5 place or the 10th place, whatever you choose to call it and set iteration number to zero. If length of binary one is greater than length of binary two, then repeat length of binary one. Find letter length of binary one minus iteration number of binary one 
plus letter length of binary two minus iteration number of binary two plus carry over. And note that this is this fine block over here. Change iteration number by one. Now we set output to join carry over output because we want the last carry over to be in the output. Else, well, basically just the same thing except using binary two, which gives us our fully functional code. But want to see the code again, the a picture of the code. This is part one of the code, find num1 plus num2 plus num3. And for this one, you'll have to use your snipping tool to snip it and zoom in. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe and that's the end of this video.